Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So, I've got some little deliveries and I've got a little bit of shopping that I've done. So, I thought you might like to have a look at them with me. Uh, what should we look at first? Let's look at the smaller ones first and then we'll look at the biggies. Okay, so, uh, yeah, I went to Hobbycraft and picked up my two new uh, photo boxes. So, I'm all ready to get my... Oh, I'll get the scissors for these. <laughs> trying to talk and pull plastic at the same time it's just not working uh yeah so i went to collect uh, my photo boxes so i can get my special drill storage sorted so once i've got them in there i will let you see what i've done but i spotted these little scotty dogs look they're just like thick felt um and they're really sort of christmas i think decorations uh yeah i think i paid did i pay one pound fifty something like that so yeah they were quite sort of expensive really um for four but the scotty dogs what can i say um so yeah these will be made into cover minders um and because i've got four i probably will but will be able to gift some so happy mail and things that i'll be sending out uh yeah may have a scotty dog in them uh, yeah they're easy enough just put your little you can just take the little sticky dot off the back there um, and just put a little magnet on so little scotty dogs just thought they were really sweet and you know I can't resist my Scotty dogs. And I've got a funny feeling I've probably got some very similar or exactly the same. But that's fine. I don't mind. I can have as many Scotty dogs as I like. Um, I've got my notice board that is absolutely full of Scotty dogs. So, yeah, uh, I don't mind uh, getting things duplicates. Because <laughs> I forget what I've got as well. <laughs> um, this is something that I ordered wrongly. Um, I thought I was ordering some stickers and when I've been back and looked again, yes it is my fault, I've ordered a toolkit which um, yeah I was really in need of a toolkit, oh my goodness me. But uh, yeah this is from AliExpress, this is um, a very similar to a Diamond Dots toolkit. So <laughs> what have I got, I've got some stickers, uh, yeah okay well stickers always come in handy. I've got a little white, uh, oh it's a... Uh, it is a moss for boat. It's got moss for written on it. If you ever hear anybody saying, oh, a moss for moss for boat, it's because it does actually say that on the bottom of it. Don't if you can quite, yeah, you can, you can just catch that. Yep, yeah, so that's a moss for boat. And these tend to be ones where a lot of the, if you get the one that's just a flat bottom without any ridges on, they tend to, the um, little grooves, putting your diamonds in, tend to only go up to the shoulders of where it starts to narrow off on your boat. But these actually go a little bit further so you can get more drills in line if you are using these. We've got a, I think that's a five or six placer. Yeah, we've got a two placer and a five placer. Uh, the old chunky type ones that have come in it. Uh, a pen with a blue squishy on it, a blue pen grip and a single placer. Two love hearts of wax, so uh, uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> and then some bags, grip seal bags. So, uh, but yeah, that's very much like a diamond dots toolkit to me. But uh, anyway, okay. Oh, it's a graft tray. Look, there you are. Look, it's a graft tray. We're not crafting. We're grafting. <laughs> oh dear. Um, and a comfort grip and a magic applicator. And a multiplacer. Oh, it says one multiplacer, but we've got two. Anyway, so that was a little mistake. I must learn to read things when I'm actually buying them, but never mind. So we'll put all those over there and we'll just say, right, fortunately, I think it only cost me, did it cost me £1.75? So yeah, it was a lot of money to lose. Um, but in the grand scheme of things, as to how much I've spent on diamond painting, the £1.75 isn't a huge amount. And then we trundled across to, let me just put my dogs out the way, to B&M. And look at this. How super is that? It's, so, oh, sorry about the glare. I think you've got, anyway, you can see my notice board, look, with all my Scotty dogs on. <laughs> so this is called Nocturnal Owl. Uh, it's over 3,500 crystals, silicon gum, and a designer crystal stylus and i just couldn't believe it when i saw it for six pounds 
pre-framed it's all stretched look on the canvas already and it looks like it's all crystals as well so i just thought well it would be rude not to you've got to buy it at that price uh, it looks like we've got two little key codes top and bottom there but we've also got one inside the package as well okay so let's get into this and have a look i was going to turn it over then but then i think i might as well do it from the back haven't i but yeah six pounds i just couldn't believe it hubby just looked at me as if to say you're buying another one and i just i can't resist it six pounds six pounds oh my goodness unfortunately um it was sort of like on a shelf as though somebody had looked at it and put it back in the wrong place and i did go hunting round but i couldn't find any uh, others so whether they've got any others or not i don't know i think b m have just started uh selling online now i think it's possibly b m that have started doing like a, a home delivery uh, so i may have to have a look and see it on their website i know you can go on the website and look at the different things but usually you have to go in store to buy everything because the one of those stores that like if you see it you've got to get it because they get things in at really really good prices and then you might not ever see it again because once that stock's gone through then they don't buy it again because you know they've obviously just got a special offer maybe what was left over or whatever but yeah just oh dear i know they have been doing diamond paintings um sort of on and off for a while but mainly a lot of them are in the children's section and i do say to people um, you know always look in the kids section the children's section for children's crafting because i know certainly when i was doing my card making you can sometimes get some really cheaper bargains you know that you'd go into like an adult section of a crafting part that's specifically for card makers and crafters and things and you pay like double the price sometimes whereas you, you go like for a mirror card and gems and things like that and in the children's section they're a lot lot cheaper so yeah never be afraid to look in the kids section even if you've not got a child with you <laughs> oh dear. i just say that uh, hubby's my child and he's just not looking well for his age <laughs> oh look this sellotape's not very good goodness me sorry sticky tape i know sellotape's different things to different countries isn't it uh, sellotape is a brand name of our sticky tape here in the uk right let me just i'm gonna have to just cut these off because they're uh, this tape has stuck itself well and truly and this is going to be fun because it's tearing this so let me just cut this off here i don't want to lose my key code after i just said oh i've got a nice printed out one rather than having to cut the one off my canvas right so let's see if i can get this off here oh and it's got a little picture on as well so that'll be good for my log book thank you very much b and m so i've had a few from the range and i've had a few from the works um now then will this come off or not so i don't want to tear it because then it's pointless having it Ooh, will it come off will it come off last bit last bit yay get in there <laughs> so we've got 12 different gems it looks like we've got different shapes as well wow okay uh they did have they did have these sort of ones on a special offer as well i think these were down to maybe three pound uh, i know you can pick them up they're the ones where you've just got like the gems in this side with your pen and your wax and they're actually on a piece of like hardboard so you can just mount them into a picture frame or whatever once they've done i've got a couple of these um i haven't actually done one yet <laughs> but uh, yeah they had quite a few of these and i have seen quite a few of the different ones of these but i've not seen the stretched frame ones before so i'm now on the hunt as if i need to buy any more but anyway so right let's oh, have another look at this canvas then see if we can see it without no, it's still got a bit of a glare i do apologize so it's a partial which means that the background isn't diamond painted oh but that's nice because that's like um well it is like painted canvas so it's like a matte finish to it and you do get like the canvas texture on it as well and then where all the color is is where you put your gems lovely clear drill field 
uh, the little beak here and the eyes haven't got any gems on but all his feathers oh no there's little green slashes here i do apologize little green bits that I don't have but on the whole nearly all of him is diamonds and gems wow oh i do like that let's give him a quick measure i think he's a 40 by 40 as well so he's a big one a little Scotty Dog tape measure out. So everything Scotty Dog in this house. So yeah, we are 40 centimetres, which is six, sorry, 15 and three quarter inches by 40 centimetres. Oops, yep, sorry, 15 and three quarter inches. So 40 by 40. Pre-stretched canvas. Can't get over that six pound. Um, I've, so I've not looked on the website because I only just got these. <laughs> but yeah, that's amazing. Wow. Okay. So every time I say no, I don't need any more, I'm not going to buy any more. What do I do? I go out and I see another bargain. I'm trying to stop looking online um, and Diamond Grandma, bless her. I love it a bit and I love watching her unbox and everything but she finds so many bargains uh, it's a good job really that she is in the US because a lot of the things are more expensive across here but goodness me she's uh, a real enabler <laughs> oh dear. I've just been watching her this morning on YouTube and oh my goodness me uh, she's great fun if you want to pop over to see a lovely American accent. She's uh, great and uh, she does a lot of shout outs and everything for YouTube channels as well. She's a lovely lady. But yeah, the things that she finds bargains. I bet she'd love to have found one of these. <laughs> okay, so let's start with our, gosh, look at these sparkly all in a nice tray. So we have this gorgeous deep purpley colour. And then like a bronzy brown and a lovely goldy yellow colour and a nice fresh green and oh like a sea blue and just your standard resin or acrylic probably acrylic at this price um blacks and then a little bit paler gold colour oh and a lovely sparkly silver that's a really good colour gorgeous deep red and another purpley colour a little bit lighter lovely orangey colour and then we have some marquees in blue so looks like let's have a look oh yeah the marquees look are going round the feathers here and just some mar in his little um head there just to make it a little bit interesting so mainly oh we've got a few more there as well mainly rounds but then just some little blue ones popped in there as well so he's gorgeous sort of rainbowy colours but yeah, he'll definitely be going on the wall once I've got him done. Oh, that is just, he just looks so wise, doesn't he? <laughs> and he's come to my house. <laughs> Alright, let's just have a quick look at the little tool kit that we get. Okay, you get these uh, nice pens. Uh, let's say if you give it to uh, somebody as a present to get them started on diamond painting, wow. Uh, you get the lovely pen with the uh, diamond in the top. It's like a snowflake effect there, look. And then it's just got a diamond. I think it's just a gem on each side. I don't think it goes all the way through. And then just a single placer, but yeah. You know, just a little bit different uh, for somebody that's got every pen under the sun. Then that one's just a little bit different for you. And you can always uh, get one of your pen grips just to put on there if you prefer pens that are a little bit uh, deeper. But lots of grip seal bags. I would think there's probably about, well, there's more than 12 there, I would say. It's easily enough to put all your gems in as you're going along if you were opening them there. And then a little white boat rather than a green boat. So it's just your small standard little boat. Oh, and your little square of wax as well. Yeah, so impressed. So I've gone from buying a toolkit by mistake <laughs> to getting a beautiful canvas a few little scotty dogs in between okay well just a quick video today because i just thought you might like to see my bargain and see what i got but isn't he absolutely gorgeous and we are on smashing the specials as well at the moment for august so he may get done for august but i have got a lot of my old kits that i keep saying i'm going to do those first so 
watch this space and we'll see what we get done okay well if you've enjoyed looking at these with me thumbs up is always much appreciated and if you've got any comments or questions if you leave them in the comments down below i'll get back to you as soon as i can and as always if you don't want to subscribe so you don't miss anything miss any videos that uh, i put up then if you press that subscribe button down in this corner and the all notifications bell that pops up uh, it'll just tell you and when you log on to youtube it'll just say liz has uploaded another video why not come along and watch okay well thanks ever so much for stopping by and i do hope to see you all again soon bye for now